from the road. So decided to um, check it out and um, been really impressed with it. We come every year and we meet up with each other and we just party and have a good time. We just landed in a spacecraft over in the field over there and decided we'd come and enjoy the festivities. My first time, my debut, first time at Womit. Yeah, I've been coming for about 21 years. Yeah, it's my 15th festival now. Uh, this is amazing, this is a huge, huge festival. I remember that we are always were chasing for shade the last times we've been to Womit. And it was very, very hot. The sun blazed and we all got sunburned. And I remember uh, who was playing. Um, Blind Boys of Alabama last night were superb. Very good. One of the singers, her voice was so pure, it was just magical, yeah. absolutely wonderful. Really, really nice. Yeah. Marie Boyne from Norway, she's great. The lovely thing is hearing music that you really learn to love that you wouldn't have heard from anywhere else, basically. So. I'm looking forward for uh, Balkan music tonight, actually. There's so many good music and so many new music I haven't heard of. I saw um, Darby Torre there uh, earlier in the festival, who, who I thought had a wonderful voice. I never, I'd never heard of heard of him before I came here, so it's been a real sort of um, awakening for me to see some of these wonderful, wonderful bands. Earlier in the uh, afternoon, um, Leela Downs, fantastic, really, really good uh, Mexican singer. Uh, really enjoyed watching her. Lovely woman, great dancer, fantastic voice, passionate. One of the artists was the drummers of Burundi. Um, before they even got on the stage for about two or three minutes beforehand, you could hear them warming up and when they came on the stage, it's quite an awe-inspiring sight. And about five or ten minutes later, after they left the stage, uh, the rhythm was pretty much set in your, your, your body and everything. It finished on Sunday night with Angelique Kijo from East Africa and she got everybody up on the stage to sing and dance with her. And the, um, the staff weren't happy with her, they didn't want her to do that, so she was arguing with them and singing at the same time. Got everybody up on the stage, it was a great way for the festival to end. But um, I remember when Johnny Kalsey from the Dole Foundation, I remember his first gig, he was very nervous, but he did very, very well, and he really got the crowd going, I remember that, that was good fun. I know that WOMAD is uh, about more than Peter Gabriel, um, but last night, really, really good gig, particularly enjoyed um, the number of other world artists that accompanied him on stage. I stumbled out, my ears were ringing, my head was ablaze, it was just amazing feeling, I was so excited and I couldn't find my tent for hours so I walked around the field but eventually I found my tent. I saw, I can't remember her name but she, she was brilliant, she had um, long hair down to about here and she had a band of about eight people, uh, they were very 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 good. And but it's been, it's been fantastic gigs, so many I can't really you know, think. Nusra Fatih Ali Khan. Um, sadly, he's deceased now, but um, it's devotional music, and they played in a tent for about nine hours non stop, which was phenomenal. I mean, I was completely exhausted. But the thing was, the, the music kind of really gives you an up and a lift, and, and it was just like otherworldly. And for nine hours, it was phenomenal. So. This morning, I was listening to some amazing drumming music uh, from Korea, and I, I didn't plan to go and see them, but they took my eye and absolutely fantastic and that's what's great about Womad.
music, as always, is top quality. Um, it's you know a different lineup every year, and, and uh, every year I'm pleasantly surprised by you know all the all the new stuff that I do yeah. get to experience. Um, you can come to a festival like this with an idea to see particular artists that you have heard a little bit about, but to actually sit and listen to somebody from afresh and to be inspired by them, to actually go away and maybe think about picking up an instrument yourself. <laughs> This time we are knee deep in the holy British mud and that's fun too. Um, um, I made a face, my mum well, made the hair and the spit, the eyes, the nose, the mouth and the tongue. Well, well, um, I put the lips on and I, just, I made this one all by myself. He likes the mud but he says he hates the music. <laughs> I like the chaoticness of this one, it's just brilliant. The, the good thing about Womad is the, is the atmosphere. The sights, the sounds, the smells. It's always strange, it's always nice. You get to experience a lot of different cultures. Condensed to one weekend. Uh, very family orientated. Uh, all kinds of people. A very, very cross-section of people with eclectic taste. It's, it's a wonderful, peaceful place. There's some beautiful old trees here. I think it's so peaceful and people are so tolerant. This WOMAD's really grown over the years since I first came to it. The, the spirit of WOMAD lives on. What more could you say? 